today we have senior Jack Lafreniere and sophomore Amber Dosty uh, following the completion of the indoor track and field season here. Um, the inaugural varsity track and field season here at St. Joseph's College. Guys, just kind of talk about what that was like. You know that you made history being part of a team the first year as a varsity program. What does that mean to you guys? Okay. Um, for me, uh, especially coming in uh, to St. Joe's, I never really expected to run indoor. Um, I had never done it before in high school. and um, But when I did come in and I started running my sophomore year, it wasn't really uh, anything special. We ran maybe a couple meets. But then once when last year picked up as a club sport with Coach Putnam, uh, Coach Tebow, and Coach uh, Jessamine, I mean, it, it, I really took it seriously and, um, like, really saw that it was starting to progress into mm -hmm. something uh, much more in this uh, first season as varsity was really successful, I think. I think we had a lot of, um, we showed a lot of people that we can uh, still develop some runners without, you know, the facility that we, you know, don't, we lack of, you know, compared mm -hmm. to some other schools. Right. Yeah. I just think it's really cool because everyone, I don't know, everybody works together, which is, different I think than what was in the past. Everybody wants to improve and everybody cares so. You guys push each other. We push each other, yeah. Now the, the last meet of the year which was of course was a, was a, a qualifying meet the ECACs mm -hmm. down at the uh, historical armory in uh, New York City uh, just this past weekend. Now I know your individual efforts didn't pan out as well as you guys would have hoped but still talk about the experience of of A going down there in New York City. Amber, you mentioned you haven't been there before. Jack, you've been there a few times. And also the significance of running in that historic setting. Um, I think no, you no. um, I think going down there, um, it, it's always a great experience when you can go uh, to, you know, a pretty big meet like that because, you, you know, going to USM, it's pretty small. You, you're kind of looked at as like the big dog if you like win a meet there. But when you go there, you're running against like, you know, the top competition of, you know, the region pretty much. And mm -hmm. um, going down there the night before and seeing, you know, some uh, sponsored runners run, especially, you know, competing for national records like we saw in the 5K. Um, it's just a totally dip different atmosphere. and. Um, even though we didn't run as well, I think maybe if we had ran, you know, at BU earlier this year, if it didn't get mm -hmm. snowed out or canceled, we might have gotten those uh, uh, pre-competition jitters out because we would have been used to that kind of atmosphere. Right. I think it was definitely like a reality shock that, I don't know, just how good other people are. But it was a fun experience, I think. The trip down there was fun. We all had fun. Yeah. No, I know that you really wanted to see the Statue of Liberty and kind of talk about how that worked out for you. Yeah, I lucked out and I could see it right from my hotel room, me and Eric, or Coach Jessamine, and nobody else could, so that was cool. Yeah. yeah. My room was angled a little bit differently, so I What could you see it. out your window, Jack? Uh, a nice building right in front of the <laughs> statue. Actually, from the, uh, we were on the corner, so we could see the, uh, we were right next to the World Trade Center. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so it was, really uh, cool. then when we walked around, we took a couple pictures of that, too, so. Oh, very that's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, Anything else, you guys? What did you, what did you? What else did you guys do down there? Obviously, you're there for a couple of days. Um, what, what were some other things that maybe we'll remember for a few years from that experience? <laughs> well, some you can't talk about, but yeah, coach, but, um, yeah. Coach Putnam's driving. I heard yeah. some things. Okay. Well, Eric and I went to. We were looking for a Starbucks, and there was like ten different Starbucks. Huh. We were like asking people, and then we were going across the street, and there's tons of cops everywhere, like just okay. walking cops. So, and there was like a stop, like a stop, uh, whatever that thing is, signal. Right. So we like were waiting and the cops were like, oh no, you guys can go. So we're like, oh, okay. So we start going and they're like, no, don't go, don't go. <laughs> so, and then they like started laughing and they're just kidding. So, because they could tell we're not from there, obviously. Right. But yeah. That was fun. Gawking up at the big buildings, things yeah, like that. Fun. You're easy to spot. Jack, anything that... Um, I know you've been there before, <laughs> but still some. I mean, it, uh, it was. It, it's always still a fun experience because I mean, you know, I'm, like, I'm from a small town. You know, we're not really around like that kind of environment. <laughs> See, you right. know, I, like all the time. So it, I mean, it was good. It was nice being like in the city. We didn't really get to do much just because. I mean, we yeah, got there. Yeah, we got there. You know, like a half hour before Coach Jessamine had to run for her race, and then 
by the time we even got something to eat and then got yeah. back to the rooms, we just more relaxed than anything. And after our Mental race, it was, just, it was, yeah, it was just yeah. uh, like even the next day, like the preparation before the meet and then after the meet, it was kind of like we already knew what we had in store for us on the ride back home. So we kind of, we didn't get to do much, but it was still a good experience to get down there. Right. Now, like I said, we don't want to get into it too much because I know you were disappointed, but talk, I want each of you to just kind of talk about your experience running down there. Now, I know the track is a different kind of track. Um, the competition was was pretty uh, impressive. Just each of you just kind of briefly talk about your own events. Um, well, mine went out, I went out in the lead because my coach is crazy. And <laughs> But then, I don't know, I kind of hit a wall like three laps in and then the girls just passed and they okay. were slowing down and I was slowing down. Uh, so I don't know. But I mean it was I think definitely if we had gone to like BU and done these other like big events or right. big races definitely would have helped because And the, tra the track has a, has a banking on it, right? Yeah. Is that how did that affect you? How many times have you run on a track like that? Only at BU bef like last, last year. year I think. Okay. Maybe yeah. a few times last year. All right. It but seems like it would be so unique. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's definitely cooler. Well, yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that was like one thing I was trying to point out too is that um, if we had ran at BU earlier this year, we could, we would have also been able to get used to because we we don't run at any bank tracks at all during the year and right. Um, I know that USM um, some of some of the guys I talked to over there they actually ran on it a couple times before ECAC. Mm -hmm. So you know it does take time trying to get used to a bank track. Um, Especially, I, I mean, I don't know how much it helps for your for your race, not as much as but um, like I started in lane five, so I'm starting on a slant, and top. you have to really use those turns to whip yourself around so that when yeah. you do get to that break, that you have to be in first. Um, my race, to be honest, the first hundred meters was probably the best start I had all year. Okay. And I I caught up the guy next to me actually in lane six happened to also be from USM, which. It was a coincidence because there were a lot of other guys there from right. different places. But um, I caught up to him right away, and right when we got to the uh, first turn, I just uh, I, I tried to coast, but I, didn't, I wasn't really coasting as much as I was starting to slow down. And that's when I could start to see some of the um, the two other runners on my left, and that's kind of like the key in that in the mm -hmm. 400s. If you can see them on the turn, that means they're already ahead of you. So right. by the time we got to the break, they were in front of me, and I tried to hold on and. Pretty much, I guess it was the same I, same idea. I kind of like just hit a wall, and it was like yeah. kind of more psychological at that point. I mm -hmm. couldn't keep up. Yeah. So I mean, it it kind of stinks because you it, and the the race is so fast for me that I, I just I could kind of like see it slipping away through my fingers. You know what I mean? Just uh, it just all felt like a slow motion for the next thirty seconds, and then it was over. Wow. And um, as fast as you were going, I think most of us would say, wow, at that time would be almost impossible for a lot of us to reach. But yeah. for you to say that was slow motion because of what was happening is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, now let's get back to the historical aspect of this program, first year varsity program. Um, Amber, we'll ask you first. I mean, a cross-country runner, one of, the, one of the best cross-country runners in the region. Um, talk about how this program, indoor and outdoor coming up, maybe will help lift our cross-country program, which is already outstanding, um, maybe for yourself and for other, maybe recruiting, the, the whole ball of wax. How, how, what, what's your opinion on all that? Uh, well, I think like we have we built our reputation up a lot, So, and there's mm. actually people looking at us for cross-country now, and for yeah. track, and numbers are going up, which is really good. And I don't know, I think that having a team that's so like our team's pretty close and everybody's so nice and like inviting really helps so right now now this year for both of you really um having both well jack you're off to lacrosse now after this um senior year last season of sports coming up but um how different was it being a varsity sport versus last year being club um now it's it's year-round varsity sports <laughs> for you guys how what just kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, from, uh, from my aspect, uh, I, it, it was kind of a bummer because, you know, I know that, like, we try, we try to start to become something by sophomore year, and mm -hmm. 
it, it just pretty much wasn't really anything existent. And then even last year when we tried to start coming up, no one really took us seriously, especially when we went to meets. And um, even though we had some people placing and stuff, it wasn't it, right. it wasn't anything really uh, too drastic. But this year, I feel like we really stepped up, and our coaches have done a phenomenal job with you know trying to recruit with you know bringing people in and. Um, saying, you know, this is what we have to deal with, but these are, you know, our numbers and these are what we're producing with the lack of facility, like I was saying before. And um, I've just met, just because of this one year of being varsity, I've already met, like, a ton of people through, like, you know, the track world, I guess, right. mainly. And, um, and everyone, I, I mean, everyone I've talked to, like, they, they, start, they, they start to notice, you know, that we're, you know, not just some... You know, club school anymore, and uh, that is actually starting to be uh, progress and become something uh, better. Well, both of you uh, captured state championships in a state meet just a few weeks back. Um, Jack in the 200 and 400, and Amber in the 1000, which is just an, an unbelievable accomplishment for to have two members of a first year team capture a championship. And you guys had victories throughout the year. Um, what did that mean for you for the program to go out and, and kind of put an exclamation point? on the season against some pretty tough competition in state. It's your turn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, I guess it's just cool for the program. Mm. I don't really, I mean, I care, but it doesn't mean like, right. that much to, I don't know. Maybe years from now you'll look back on it. Years and you'll be from now, <laughs> yeah. But for the program, I think it looks, yeah. it's good and it makes us look good. You're funny because you're, you're a humble person, but I know you're very competitive. Yes. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting mix. How about you, Jack? Um, I mean, looking at it again, just kind of uh, from a senior standpoint, I knew it was, you know, probably gonna be one of my last like mm. seasons of running, and we don't, we don't have a conference. You know, I, I, I talk to some other schools, and they say, oh yeah, our conference cha championships next week or something. It was mm. kind of like a standpoint. Um, to see where we're at so going for this, into it. for this program, the state championship is... Is, 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 is a lot more important, right, I think. Right. Yeah, because we are, it was our first year of varsity, and, you know, I, I I know some other guys, I think, sometimes, like, look up, like, you know, to us as runners. So I just want to be able to produce and uh, run well. I mean, both in the 200 and the 400, uh, I got my butt kicked earlier in the year in the 400. I just wanted to be able to you know, run a good race because I knew mm. the competition I was going against was going to be pretty high. And the 200, I, I ended up being able to sneak in at the last second, so, or last. Yeah, very close. Second. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty close, close, so um, I was pretty happy about it. It was it was, it was a good day. Yeah. Well, um, both of you have set times this year that may not be broken for a while. Of course, Amber, you could break your own program best time several times over the next couple of years. but. Jack, it'll be interesting to see how long your your top times here last. Uh, Jack, do you plan on running after college? Um, yeah, it's something I've definitely considered. Um, you know, uh, even thinking of out between outdoor and lacrosse this year, it's just been a hard decision for me. And um, uh, but I think that after this year, you know, I've, I've seen Coach Jessamyn so compete and run unattached, and mm -hmm. I think my you know, my love for competition is never gonna, you know, die out. So I, I might end up finding myself trying to train and maybe still stay in touch with some of the coaches here and see if they can help right. me out if I want to ever run it unattached. Maybe tag along to a couple of meets or so, depending if I'm good. in the area or if not. Sounds good. Um, and Amber, now looking forward to the outdoor season, what can we expect? What are some of the differences between indoor and outdoor? Um, well, they want me to try steeplechase, which is like, Explain Maybe. steeplechase to us. I don't even know that well, but <laughs> it's like they have hurdles that are set in the ground with water underneath, and you have to jump over them. Yeah. Have you ever have seen you this seen before? Have you seen YouTube videos? I have not. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> like, they do not move. Like, huh. girls flip over yeah. if, you, like, if you miss it. I don't You're know. I've never tried it, so okay. it'll be interesting. How do you train for such things? Don't know. Just run. Yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> we, really we watched it last year at Tufts, oh. and a lot of people, you know, you see some runners just hurl right over, and some runners have to, jump, like, use it as, like, a yeah. stepping, because um, the water on the other side is a wedge format, so it's deeper if you don't, you <laughs> want to be able to clear the hurdle, but also jump far, too, so you, right. you know, you land, you're going to land in the water, so you can't be afraid to get too wet, but some people have 
flipped over. We've seen someone flip over and land right into the, yeah. the deeper end. So, like well, that chance. sounds interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but what I know that a lot of runners have said that the indoor is really dry, it's very challenging, oh, yeah. outdoor is always uh, maybe a little more enjoyable for the athletes. Is yeah. that something that's true? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think that the indoor, like the atmosphere is better. It's like it's more confined. And, sure. But I think outdoor is definitely better for the athletes. And yeah. Just so Jack off to lacrosse. Yeah. Tomorrow, first game. Uh, yeah, for me it's first yeah. game. Yeah. So. Plymouth State tomorrow for you, uh, Amber. you Do you get any kind of break in between the two seasons? Um, I had until today. Okay. <laughs> because you advanced to the ECACs and things like that, yeah. so you had a little bit less of a break. All right, well, guys, thanks so much for your time. Congratulations on an historical first season for both of you, and uh, good luck in your respective seasons coming up. Thank you. Thank you.